YouTube, Midnight Crawler back up in this piece with another episode of Brews and Views. And it is hot up in this piece, so I'm taking that off. Don't mind the hair. But yeah, that was a great soundtrack from Descort Service, the soundtrack by Toshi. Toshi Yuki Hirako. I hope I didn't pronounce I pronounced that the wrong way, but anyway, it's a great soundtrack. Definitely check it out if you get a chance. And you can score it on steesbox.com. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. All right, so yeah, we got the brew, man. This time we have a new craft beer from Granberry, Texas called Revolver Blood Honey. This is an American wheat ale. It is a 7.0 and man it looks fantastic now the thing about this one it's uh it has honey and also blood orange peel and a couple spices now here is the pour did that in advance nice thick very golden just very full of sediments flavors so good looking the kind i like and i'm still sweating my balls off here because we got a lot of lighting going on you know it's a professional set here that's how we do it in the domain here all right so let's take a Let's take a taste. <sighs> Whew. That is so good. It hits you right away with the spice. Um, dabs of honey. Uh, the, the orange peel, I mean, there's some citrus here, but honestly, you can't really, it's not like overpowering. Uh, there's no bitterness for me. I know Rachel said there was some bitterness for her, but it was like her first drink. So, you know how that is sometimes. It sometimes takes a little more to get your palate going. But it's fantastic, man. This is really good, actually. Um, it's a 7.0, so it's pretty powerful, man. And you don't even know the difference because you'll be, like, kicking these up. Kicking, I mean, you know, knocking them back. But, uh, yeah, I give this one a 9 out of 10, man. I think it's really damn good for the first time uh, buy for that brewing company. Yeah, let's check it out. It's called Revolver Blood and Honey. If you're in the Texas area from Granbury, Texas, pick up a six pack. $11.99 at my local corner store. All right, so we got the brews over with. <clears throat> Let's jump on to the views. Oh shit, man, I'm like drenched in sweat and nose is running. Coked up. No, I'm <laughs> first time view. Yeah, let's go on with the first view. First time views. Um, this one surprised the fuck out of me. It's called Androgenum. I thought, I, I didn't know actually what I was expecting jumping into this film. I read the, the you know, the little reviews here, like Parker even had one. It's pretty cool. It's awesome cat. Uh, this one was fantastic, man. It blew my mind. It was really good. It's, um, I'm not going to give anything away, actually. Just check it out. It's very unique, uh, very original. Uh, there is penis mutilation in this. So, like, that gets bonus points in my book. And, uh, yeah, androgyna, man. Very fucking well done. Fucking shot beautifully as well. Next up, it's Rough Cut. And <laughs> this movie was a fucking trip. It was a lot of fun. It's uh, directed by Chris Leto, and he, like, I believe he helped out in uh, Die Die Delta Pi, or I, I, I believe so. I know Sean Donahue was in this. He had a little cameo. It's a little sleazy cameo. Uh, also, Bob Glazier and Joe Winecoop and Chrissy Kratz, they made cameos in this. It was pretty cool. Uh, this is like a little comedy. Com it's like horror comedy, in my opinion, because it's uh, just a little over the top, but it was a lot of fun. I really dug it. Yeah, rough cut. Check it out. I enjoyed it. Jumping on to Jacker, uh, released by Sleecebox. This is uh, the shot on video classic from Phil Herman and company. Uh, it's hilarious, over the top, cheesy. Uh, there is an epic skateboard chase scene that 
will just blow you away. Like, what the fuck? It's so hilarious. <laughs> if you've seen a Phil Herman movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jacker. I'm looking forward to checking out Jacker 2, which stars Joe Winecoop. Uh, yeah, but Jacker was fucking fun. I, I really dug that. Another first time watch was Terror at Blood Fort Lake. Now, this one was a very dialogue heavy horror comedy and it was funny man i dug it man i was laughing my ass off and the star is a beautiful nicola fiore had a crush on her since i saw slaughter daughter and i've seen her a few things since then and yeah if you want to see her butt naked well she's topless my bad she's topless and also has this um this scene with uh she gets like cum sprayed all over, over her my face that's pretty cool man I, so i gave i gave it away i'm sorry i had to it's a it's actually signed by one of the producers uh dustin hubbard i scored this at tampa bay screams and yeah it was fun i really dug it I, I thought it was hilarious over the top acting just fun all right another first time watch was art of the devil and this one was fucking awesome uh been man i never picked these up they're i think it's a trilogy and uh this was given to me by dave k the Magnificent, the Fiend on Film himself, Fiend on Foot Fetish, Fiend on uh, Foot Rubs. Yeah, thanks, Dave K. I really loved it. I, I dug it, man. I don't know, man. It was some hot, hot, uh, Thai women. I believe it's Thai. <laughs> I think it's Thai. But it, it was awesome, man. I, 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 I'm a big fan of uh, Black Magic, so yeah, this was cool. And another first time watch was David Lynch's Wild at Heart. Now, I picked up this VHS like a year or two ago and never got to it. Because I lost a VHS player in a drunken stupor at a haunted house last October. And uh, yeah, finally, up, finally, you know, replaced the VHS player. And I got to see this. And it was fantastic, man. Some great characters. Willem Dafoe, man. Wow, that head burst scene with the shotguns was fantastic. Uh, yeah, and you know, um, Laura Dern, man. I, did, I admit, I had a crush on her since Jurassic Park. But this took it to a whole nother level because I got to see her two, t her, her, t her boobies. I was going to say boobies and titties at the same time. So I tongue twisted there. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, last first time watch was Playmate of the Apes. And this was the comic book edition. I I showed you guys the comic book in the past Demented Corner episode. And there's boobies in there. So I won't open it up. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Misty Monday is in this. Um, Debbie Roshan plays like one of the chimps. And there's also this other hot blonde man who's in it towards the end i'm not a big um uh what's her name fan and uh i already forgot so anyways darian kane fan i'm not a big darian kane fan don't get me wrong she's hot but i'm more of a misty monday fan so you know that's why i, I want to pick this up and this was given to me by rabid rage so thanks Ra rage all right so let's get on to some revisits uh Descort service blu-ray it's a revisit because I have the DVD player. I mean, the DVD. Damn, man, what's that? I think wearing that wig maybe like blonde, man, for real. All right, so uh, the, the Blu ray is cool because it has uh, the commentary, the exclusive commentary. The commentary is fucking awesome. I really enjoyed it. I love commentary. So, yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. The transfer is fantastic. The soundtrack sounds great. Uh, you know, in HD, man, check it out. Also, revisited Blood Rage. Uh, I did check out the, what's it called? The. Um, Shit. Uh, Nightmare at Shadow Woods cut. Uh, to me, it seemed like the gore <laughs> sequences were like cut, so it was like, eh. But anyway, it's pretty cool to check it out. Another one I revisited was The Vampire Lovers, and that was a lot of fun because I seen it on Netflix like two years ago. So to watch it on Blu-ray was fucking awesome, and I really do love this movie. It's fucking great, man. And the the special features, man, it's fantastic, man. There's an interview with uh, Madeline Smith, man. It's like 30 minutes, man, and she, or 20, 30 minutes, and she like. She gives you a lot of behind the scenes, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Easter eggs or whatever. And it's awesome, man. She talks about her first time getting nude and all that good stuff, man. It's awesome. And, yeah, I had to revisit Young Frankenstein because, uh, you know, Gene Wilder, he passed away recently. And uh, I love this movie. It's one of my favorites, man. It's my, my favorite Gene Wilder movie. So I had to watch this and I just love it. Uh, yeah. Another revisit was Class and Newcomb High. Uh, yeah. What can I say, man? Just fucking awesome. And the last two, we're going to go with some Japanese goodness. We got Dead Sushi by Noboru Iguchi, which just a fucking awesome, awesome director. Love this one. And Rina Takeda, she is freaking hot. And love it. And last, we have Vampire Girl versus Frankenstein Girl. And I love this one because it's by two great directors, uh, Nayuki Tomomatsu. He does a lot of like sleazy like horror movies. And Yoshihiro Nishimura, which master of gore in japan in my opinion and yeah that's gonna be it guys for bruising views 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with a Demented Corner episode very soon. Have a few pickups and uh, a great package from Sean Donahue of Gator Blade Films. So be on the lookout for that. Till next time, peace.